So guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can send large videos or large files using Dropbox, okay? Um, I know that if you try to text a video or a large picture, you know, sometimes what will happen is, or even email it, what will happen is the video will be compressed in order to send it. So the recipient don't get the full resolution video. So this is an easy way that I found that you can actually send or share a video and, um, and they can get the full resolution. So what you have to do though is install Dropbox. It's a free application and it gives you up to two gigabytes of storage. That way you can send a video full resolution 1080 HP 4k whatever and their part and your recipient would get the full resolution. So if you're trying to send a video to grandma or you're trying to send a video to, to your family members or whatever what I would do is I would download Dropbox. Now all you have to do here is sign in or create an account. And what this is, I, I say if you have Dropbox already, start a new account because you want to have this kind of general. So you type in your name, email address, and you create account. Why I say you want this to be general because what you can do is you can actually share the login. You can share the sign-in information, and then they will see the same information that you see. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get signed in here. So once you sign into the Dropbox, you should see this. All right, so what you want to do is you want to upload photos. I'll just skip that for now. Okay, so once you get to this screen, you see that plus sign right there? All right, all you have to do is hit that plus sign, upload photos, and then there's your videos that you, wanna, that you want to send to grandma or send to your family members, right? So you would click that, click next, all right? And then it says choose a folder. So what you would do is you would click upload, all right? And then set location. All right, set location down there at the bottom. When you set location, you want to choose Dropbox or choose a different folder. What that means is um, if you're sharing this account, you can create different folders that you can actually put the video in. But for now, we're just going to keep a Dropbox and it's just going to put it on the main screen. All right, so once I hit upload, all right, the video starts. Now with the shared account, if you guys are sharing this account, meaning you're sharing your username and password, whoever has Dropbox downloaded onto their phone or onto their device, with, they can just enter in your username, your password, and they can see all your downloads. And then once it's downloaded, all they have to do is hit the export button and then it downloads it right onto their phone, so from you to them. Um, now that's the easy way to do it, you know, if you don't mind sharing the actual information as far as the username and password. Once the video is uploaded, it's in the box here. Now, another good thing is you can actually play it right from inside the Dropbox, or you see these, um, you see up here, you see these three little dots? You click on these dots, and all they have to do is export it. And they can save it, you know, they can save it, send a message, or copy the link. Now, you can send the link right from here. Now, if you don't want to share your credentials as far as like a username and password, what you could do is send the video to somebody who don't have Dropbox. Now, this is for somebody who don't have Dropbox saved to their phone. They can also download the same video that you want to upload to Dropbox. So all you do is upload the video to Dropbox, hit this little man with the plus sign right here in the right corner, all right? And then that gives you a share option. So you can say, can view, create link. So all you would do from here is create link, all right? So it's creating a link, and then you can copy that link, and then you can share that link, and then it, and you can send it to them through text message or email. And all it is is they would click on that link. Dropbox is going to give them a way to download it right to their phone. So this is a great way to send large files, especially videos. A great way to send videos. And then once you are done sharing the video, you can delete it, and that will give you the two gigabytes of space back. So let's say your video is taking up you know, 68 megabytes, or you got four or five videos in there and it's taking up one and a half gigabytes of space on your Dropbox. Even though they only give you two gigs, what you can do is delete the video after you already done shared it, you can straight delete it from the Dropbox by just clicking on it, all right? And then clicking the three little things at the top again, click delete, all right? And once you click delete, it's deleting, that gives you all the space back on the Dropbox so you can do this over and over again. So this is a great way to share large files, uh, particularly videos, you know, with friends and family. The easy way, like I said, you can share the account by using the same username and password. If they have Dropbox, you know, downloaded onto their phone, they can just sign in. You guys can sign in together. You guys can upload videos together, and then you can just easily export them to your individual devices. Now, also, like I said, if you just want 
to send the video or file to someone who don't have Dropbox, just simply create a link, then they will easily be able to download the video to their device, not even having to have Dropbox. The good thing also about that is, even though you create a link for that video, once you delete it, the link will be no longer valid. So hope this video was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, see you in the next video.